23 News for the People. Well, Shilise Jones is trying to make the toughest Olympic team there is, the U.S. Women's Gymnastics Squad. But if she's able to do it, it will be the end of a long road that ultimately led her right back to her Seattle home. It's pretty cool when she first came in the gym as a young kid. She was probably four years old and this little thing just walking in with her Finding Nemo backpack every day. <laughs> We knew she was talented and we had a lot of fun training her early on. I remember when she was maybe 11 or 12 years old, her father bought her a whiteboard and he said, you know, this is a board that you can put your goals on. And she put on that whiteboard, I am going to the Olympics. I was the only one here that had made elite, so I didn't really have any older teammates to look up to. So we picked up our whole immediate family and then moved just to pursue gymnastics with my 12-year-old voice saying that I wanted to go train with Olympians. The beginning of January of 2021, I got hit in a car accident. Broken ankle and broken back. It was devastating. I didn't really feel confident in myself, but I wanted to go out there and do the best I could. It's 10th place for Shailese Jones tonight here at the Tokyo Olympic Trials. You know, I never really looked at trying for a second time. It was actually my dad. He was like, I'm going to believe in you that you can go to 2024. And that's kind of when it clicked in. And I was just like, you know what, Dad? Like, I can. Her dad has dealt with a number of different, very serious health issues. And that's a floor routine that she says is dedicated to him. He had diabetes. So he had a kidney and pancreas transplant because those had both failed. He actually had told me, shy, I'm not going to make it. My dad always told me, Seattle's where it's meant to be. You're more comfortable there. That's your home. Unfortunately, it didn't click till after he passed away. I was just like, this is what he wanted for me, and we're going to take those steps and move back home and pursue the dream. It was pretty surreal, actually, because he wanted to build the team here so that if we ever had Chilees or, or a kid like that, that we'd be able to help them reach their ultimate goal. Dad, he would just be ecstatic. Just say, I knew this all along. I knew this all along, and I'm so proud of you. It just feels great to be at home and finish it where I started. Well, you can watch the Paris Olympic opening ceremony at 7 p.m. on July the 26th, right here on NBC 23. All right, well, more than 500 recipes have been created by several chefs to feed the 15,000 athletes in the Paris 2024 Olympic Village. The company Sodexo Live announced that the restaurant is going to seat up to 3,500 athletes and will be opened around the clock. Now, the Paris 2024 partner will also prepare 6,000 meals per day for village staff. And concerning the offer proposed to the general public, 60% of the dishes will be vegetarian, 80% of the products are going to come from France, including 25% less than 150 miles from the catering location. All right, coming up on the Today Show, one of the greatest golfers and athletes of all time will join the crew in Studio 1A. Tiger Woods is going to talk about golf, of course, plus his family, his plans for the future, and a special project that he's working on. Again, the Today Show starts at 7 a.m. right after NBC 23. Staying connected at 30,000 feet, the airline that's getting passengers connected to the internet faster than ever. I'm Rich DeMuro. That's coming up in TechSmart. It is still hot and humid out there this morning, you guys. No jackets needed for the warmth and most likely not for the rain. Check it out. 78 right now in Harlingen, dew point at 74. So when you add that humidity value onto the temperatures, our heat index, when you walk out the door, it feels like it's 81 degrees and it's not even 530 in the morning. Y'all stay tuned. I'll have more details.